science in our topic today we are going to discuss about plants plants classification the lesson is brought to you by Evans you are welcome objectives by the end of this exploration you should be able to classify plants into green non-green flowering and non-flowering plants classification classification of plants is the process of grouping plants with common characteristics plants can be grouped into green and non-green non-green non-flowering these plants are not green therefore they do not do photosynthesis what is photosynthesis photosynthesis is the process whereby green plants make their own food and they do this in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight what is chlorophyll it is the green coloring matter in green plants they also do not flower and that's why we call them non-green non-flowering examples of these actually are the main one is fungi and bacteria so we're going to look at examples under each so that you're able to see a number of diagrams as we discuss them further to know what they are made of our first example is toadstool so when you look at this picture here it shows toadstool remember this one is not eaten and we're going to look at other examples of the same look at them this is another example so these are what we refer to as toad stools so when you get any of these uh, uh, something of this kind anywhere then you need to know that it's an example of a non green non flowering plant and it is really actually known as toad stool if you turn it the other way around this is how it looks so still this one is a toad stool toad stool our example two is mold you might have discovered that when you the food overstays for example when you look at this loaf of bread there are some of some of these patches you're seeing here are molds so what happens is that when the food stays for some time you discover that these molds tend to develop and then when it is this way now it becomes uh, poison so the food is now uh, poisoned in that when you happen to eat therefore expect some stomach aches and we refer to it as food poisoning still another clear example of the same this is what we refer to as molds so please take care in case you get food that has uh, such patches therefore know that this one is already having molds and if you happen to feed on it it might cause a lot of problems to you another example is ringworm as you may see in this diagram here ringworm and it's also a kind of a, a disease that actually attacks the skin and this one is also a bit dangerous because it causes some discoloration on some or some patches on the skin as you may see in the diagram shown here another example is a mushroom just as i told you earlier you need to be very keen for you to be able to differentiate between the toadstool and a mushroom so now this is a mushroom you can see the difference this is a bit lighter in color as compared to the toadstools then also uh, this one now is uh, 
edible. It can be eaten and it is fed on by human. Therefore, it doesn't cause any harm if you feed on it. This is what you call a mushroom. You can be able to make a wonderful soup out of this because as I told you, these ones are eaten and they cause no harm. These are the mushrooms. If you hear of mushrooms, then this is the diagram you are seeing over here. Just as we discussed, this is another diagram of a, a mushroom. Therefore, we also have other examples, and these other examples include these other examples include the following. These other examples include mildew, penicillin, puffballs, yeast. We have things like bracket tree. So those are other examples under non-green, non-flowering plants. And remember, we put them into two major classes. And the two major classes, we said they are fungi and bacteria. Another example here is a, an example of a puffball or poofball. So this puffball is also not edible, but it also uh, looks like the other two, the mushroom and the toadstool. But now when you look at this one, it doesn't have those depressions like it is on mushroom and uh, toadstool. So here also we have different kinds. So when you look at this one, is more or less the other one but a bit different because this one is a, a round kind of then we also have others that are not that doesn't have uh, a leg let's look at those ones these are other examples when you look at these ones uh, these ones also are what you call the puff balls and uh, non-green non-flowering plants just only but to mention So in our next lesson, we shall be looking at green non-flowering. Now there here or there we shall be looking at those plants that are usually green, but actually they are not flowering. Then afterwards, we shall also continue exploring to look at flowering plants as we look at different pictures. Otherwise, I want to say thank you for listening. And I want to believe you'll get time to research more on the same so that you equip yourself on the facts about green, non-green, uh, flowering, non-flowering, and generally on plants as general. Thank you and thank you for listening.